Welcome to story time with Miss Chelsea. I am not your host, Miss Chelsea. I am Grumbelina. And that's not even my real name. It's just a nickname. Now, here's your real host, Miss Chelsea, who's always happier than she should be. <laughs> Thank you, good? Grumbelina. That was perfect. All right. Uh, Let's do this, Grumbelina. No. Why? I'm for that. Why are you black? I don't know. Did you sometimes eat like a just, bad burrito or sometimes something? Sometimes you just feel bad. That's true. Yeah, I feel you there. Ah. I get I get that way too. All right. You know what? We have a lot of fun stuff going right now here on Storytime today. Okay, fine. So. Like what? You gonna well, make me wrestle a tiger or something? Nope, you don't have to wrestle a tiger, I don't think. That's good. <laughs> We get to read about Gideon, oh, the mighty warrior. I know him. It's so exciting. I've already heard that story. You've, well, then that's good. You can you can share all that you love about this story. Ah. Yeah. All right. And we can sing a song. No, thanks. What? Well, you don't want to sing a song? Well, what song did you have in mind? How about, my God is so big because he's bigger than our grumbles. What else you got? <laughs> What's wrong with that one? What's good with that one? <laughs> well, why don't we try it and we'll see oh, if you like fine, it. Fine, fine. All right, are you guys ready at home? We're gonna get Grumbelina to smile. <laughs> Kinda hard to do as a puppet. <laughs> Pretend to smile. All right, there we go. Is that Turn right? that frown. Crooked down. <laughs> Ready, Grumbelina? No. My God, God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the valleys are his, the stars are his handiwork too. It's true. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm so sorry. I really got into it. Well, I I'm think sorry. I got into your head. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Do you feel any better besides me poking your eyeball? A little itty bitty micro sized bit. So like your your smile is like halfway crooked now? Crooked? I will you said flat and it sounds like an insult. <laughs> I didn't mean it. Hey, by the way, I heard that Perry is now the most beautiful puppet. And Bernard is the prettiest. What in the world does that leave for me? You are the most stunning blue-haired puppet. Stunning. How many blue-haired puppets are there? Only, oh. <laughs> so I'm the Only. ugliest one, too. <laughs> no. Oh, that's so You're great. You're stunning Rumbling puppet. yet again. Stunning, I like that. Yeah, stunning is good. All right. All right. Most stunning. Like, zap. Oh, you're stunning. Blah. <laughs> Like that kind of stunning? Like, yeah, we'll go with that. All right. Yeah. The most Add that stunning. to my thumb wrestling ability, That's and I'll fun. go stun people. Bernard, hey, I got a new ability I want to show you here. Oh. Today we're reading about Gideon. Gideon is cutting wheat when an angel appears to him. Mighty warrior, says the angel. God is sending you to save Israel from the Midianites. That night, Gideon secretly destroys an altar to a false god. He builds a new altar to God instead. It is time to prepare for the battle. God says Gideon has too many soldiers. Gideon tells them to go home if they are afraid. 22,000 men leave. God's 
says Gideon still has too many men. Gideon must choose only the ones who use their hands to drink water from the stream. Only 300 men remain. Gideon sneaks near the Midianite camp. He hears a man telling his friend about a strange dream. His friend says the dream means Midian will lose the battle. Gideon and his men stand at the edge of the enemy's camp. They blow their horns and break pitchers that hide their torches. A sword for the Lord and for Gideon, they shout. The enemy is scared and runs away. God's army wins. And our verses the land had peace for 40 years during the days of Gideon. And that's found in Judges chapter 8, verse 28. You ready, Grandpa Lena? Okay. Are you feeling any better? No. No? Sometimes you're just blue. That's true. Sometimes you're just blue. And I'm blue a lot. That's true. All right. Are you ready? For little Bible questions. For studying Bible puppets. That's right. All right, Grumbelina. Okay. I got some questions for you. I've got some answers. Let's do this. How did God help Gideon? Taco Tuesday. No. Oh, well, he helped him a lot of ways. He sent a messenger to talk to him. Mm -hmm. And... He gave the dream to the soldier so Gideon could be, you know, encouraged. And, oh, oh, and before that, there was that point where the water thing, the people were drinking the water, and he told them how many people to take. Yeah, he actually took away soldiers, didn't he? Yeah, that probably didn't seem like help at the time. No, but God wanted Gideon to rely on him. Yeah. And there was no question that it was God who won that battle, right? Right. Because usually you couldn't win a battle with just 300. Not 300 whatever, people how against men. however many thousands were yeah, there. Yeah. There's no way. It was God. And he made Gideon brave. Brave. Yeah. All right. Do you trust God to help you do brave things? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Remember the, the, the thing with the... The, the basement, and I was scared of getting in trouble because yeah, I wasn't going to Yeah, he, he, he helps me. So I'll sing some songs, and and then I'm not as afraid. Great. Still a little afraid. Yeah. But that, it's helpful. Yes, and I'm sure Gideon was afraid, don't you think? Oh, of course. Yeah. But I am so proud of you for doing that. That's fantastic, Grumbelina. Plah. Yeah, Plah. the hair. Plah. I have mine in a bun today, so it won't get in my face. You got to watch that pear. He might eat it. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's a bun. He's kind of past that now, though, don't you think? I hope so. I hope so, too. <laughs> All right, Grumbelina, we have to remember that God can make you brave. God can make me brave. He does. That's right. Let's say a prayer before we go. Okay. Dear Lord, thank you so much for making us brave and for fighting our battles, Lord. Thank you for just being there for us and loving us and allowing us to come to you for strength. And I ask that we will do that, Lord. And I pray that you will make us brave as sometimes we have to stand up for things that are hard. And I just pray for all of our storytime friends out there, Lord. I pray that you will make them brave as well. And I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I feel a little bit better. A little, not much. Don't get too excited. That's okay. that, I'll take that. Just a tiny, tiny little bit. Like from the end of my nose to here. Okay. Better. All right. We'll take that. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.